There she is, Lani Daniels. The chorus of the Maori Haka guiding her to the ring. She's been very relaxed in the lead up to this bout. Suddenly, Monty, a little more serious. Reality bites. She's defending her title. Mentioned it many times tonight. This time she is the hunted. I can tell you well, by the company she's letting out, the belt she's showing, the look on her eyes, the sterling determination. She does not want to let it go. And this is a rousing haka for the young woman from up north. So she accepted the challenge and she has a big one in front of her with Brazil Muhammad. Let's take a look at how the stats stack up. Similar age for both women, similar height. Muhammad, she is heavier. Lani Daniels has a slight reach advantage. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Coleman event of the evening. It is scheduled for 10 two-minute rounds of professional world championship female heavyweight boxing action. It is for the IBF female super heavyweight, heavyweight championship of the world. Your IBF supervisor is Ben Kilty. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She enters the ring wearing black trunks with silver and green trim, weighing in at 89.70 kilograms. Hailing and residing in the East Cape, South Africa, she is a South African cruiserweight champion. She is trained by Kaifas Matubi Nantai, representing Port Elizabeth. She has five professional fights with three wins, two draws. Introducing the challenger, Rizal Mohammed. <laughs> and her opponent fighting out of the red corner. Edges ring wearing black trunks with red trim. She weighed at 82.9 kilograms. Hailing from Pippawai, New Zealand, residing in Fongaray, New Zealand, trained by John Conway, representing Rebel League Gar. She has 12 professional fights, eight wins, two losses, two draws. She is the reigning, defending IBF female world heavyweight champion. This is the smiling assassin, Lady Daniel. Find us in the center ring, please, for your referee, Phil Holliday, who is also an IBF world champion, refereeing a world champion event. First time ever. Ladies, I'm giving the instructions to change them. This is a nice clean fight, and good luck to both of you. Let's go. One more time, good people! Phil Holliday, former world champion himself. Very fitting man to have judged this bout. Lani Daniels, well, that was a pretty emotional haka. You have to be careful it doesn't soak up too much adrenaline, Monty, as you head into this 10-round bout. Yeah, it looks like she's brushed it off. Really emotional at times, and now it's the business. Southport, there is a succession of South African Southports tonight. Muhammad looking to step forward, probing with that left hand, but she just walks into a straight right hand from Daniels. Daniels has always been very slick. She's got fast hands, she moves well. She's using that lead hand just to control the distance against the south port. Muhammad, very tentative, very short with that left hand. Let's see if she starts to wind up. Last word from Daniels. Probing right hand to the body there from Daniels. The thing with that as well is Muhammad will be careful, she's following Daniels, so she'll be brought onto that right hand again. Well, she looks a little cumbersome with those shots. Daniel's clearly the quicker of the two. 
just probing with that lead hand. Muhammad not really fighting the lead hand control much, as you often see with Southpaws, taking that right hand on the guard. Missing wildly. I'd like to see Daniel start to go to the body. Unfazed from Muhammad as she switches to conventional. And back to Southport. Lani Daniels, Kiwi girl. Black shorts with the red trim. And at this stage, looks well in control. In fact, I don't think she's broken a sweat yet, Daniels. Yeah, she's moving brilliantly. He's, brings on to another right hand as well. Definitely out of the two. She's a crystal puncher. Much more speed and definitely the more fluid of the mover. Yeah. Mohammed looking for that right hand, but just ponderously slow. Referee, there's uh, Daniels. I'm not sure how long this is going to last. If Mohammed can't start to put up some offense, Daniel will grow in confidence as she heads into the second round. Yeah, see Mohammed, she looked very frustrated at the end of that round. She's even veering away to go to her corner a little bit early. She needs to get some stern words of advice from her corner. As you see, Marnie Daniels just brings her with the right hand. That's what happens when she follows. Mohammed guilty of doing that. Changing levels, going straight downstairs, following up with the left hook to the head. Really is having her way. Moving off, the hand control at times, fainting. We had a little bit of fun. She knows you can box. She knows you're in for a hard night. So I want you to box your foot. Second round, round two. Wise words from the rebel John Conway, also one of New Zealand's top boxing referees, world class boxing referee. Let's see how Daniels comes out. Very proactive with her lead hand, looking to get that outside foot position and drive a decent right hand down the middle. Let's see if Muhammad is going to be. She looks like she's there's a clubbing left hand. Now Daniel's coming on. And Muhammad touched her then for the very first time. It's more of a brush than anything else. Yeah. It's the right hook of Muhammad, I think we have to worry about. Her left hand is just. Uh, Clubbering, it's generally hooked and short. Daniel's working away to the body there. Little short right hand on the inside. Another right hand down the middle from Daniels. Back left hook and a decent right hand. Now Mohammed is back there. She's firing back, but uh, Daniels just needs to step back. Find some range and continue to pick up for those right hands. She cannot sustain that. Daniel's just making a miss with ease. When she operates from range, Monty, Muhammad has very little chance. Yeah, it was the three right hands in the row from Daniels. Beautiful. We heard the call from the corner. Puku, she went to the body, she came straight up to the head. And glancing blows, three of them. Quick succession. These are just uh, two minute rounds, so the bell may save her. She looks tired as well now, already. Referee Phil Holiday watching closely. Just slapping shots. Daniels pulling out of the way, going to the body shot there, followed by the uppercut. Crisper punches. 10 seconds to go. Daniels making a miss again. Another right hand, followed by the left hook. Crowd really getting behind her. She sat back on her heels. A disdainful look, a frustrated look, Monty, but uh, Lani Daniels dominant in that second round. Oh, she gave her the eye to finish as well. You saw the frustrated look from Mazel Mohammed, but Lani Daniels gave her the deaf there to finish that round. The barrage of punches, finished strong, and gave her the evil steer. Oh, she's really getting the talk in her corner. Lani Daniels landed a couple of left hooks off the right hand, which put it back onto the right hand. This was early in the round. She's landed three right hands in succession. And just the lumbering shots from Mohammed. Daniels easily able to evade them as she comes forward. And again, good defense, good head movement. And 
the lumbering shots of Muhammad just not enough to catch her. And that was the way they ended the round. Both girls round three. with a defiant look at the end of the round. Round three of ten. Lani Daniels, the Kiwi woman. Dominant. Daniels with that step right hand there. She's starting to pick it up. I think just volume. She may see her in this round. Yeah, I think it's been a barrage of punches rather than the one shot. Yeah, not trying to load up too much. Just uh, look for the referee stoppage. That left hook, I think, will do as much damage as the right hand. Daniels just has to be careful she doesn't bob into an uppercut. Muhammad landing cuffing shots, but not a lot of sting on them. Right hand to the body there from Daniels. Just the evasion movement from Daniels too. She never really stays in one spot. Just, uh, Muhammad just looked a little bit unsteady on her feet for a moment. Daniels just pot shotting now. Using a guard, looking for the opportunity to... Again, I think Daniels is better when she gets back out at range. Yeah, that's when you get Muhammad reaching a little bit more. When she reaches, she leaves her chin a little bit more vulnerable. Muhammad with a right uppercut there, but generally speaking, not a lot of sting on them. She's dropped her mouth guard, but the referee is uh, choosing just to continue. He will wait for a break in the action to do so. Again, Daniels easily able to get out of the way and counter. 16 seconds to go in the third round. Muhammad just having a little more success. Not a lot on it. Once again, rocks it down to a core. Big right hands there. And Philip Halliday was watching closely. I was concerned he might stop the fight for a moment. Very close. There's a lot of unanswered punches, Monty. Yeah, I think that's right. She came back just at the end result. Muhammad with a few punches, which stopped the referee from intervening. I'll tell you what, though, she's been having the time of her life out there, Lani Daniels. We're going to have a listen to this. Yeah, let's have a listen into the corners. Well, we can't really hear clearly there, but the referee's having a conversation now. Really just saying we need you to fight back. You're at risk of having this fight stop. Lani Daniels barely breathing. Pretty confident she's been dominant throughout three rounds. Seconds out for round four. Lani Daniels, plenty of spring in her step. Round four. As I suspect she'll look for the stoppage this round. Very good, educated lead hand from Daniels. She's defending the title. She won against Elroy Malaysia earlier this year. Again, the left hook off the right hand. A little bit wobbly on it, Mohammed. Ah, nice uppercut left hook. Daniels good with the counter punch. Mohammed still cuffing away. Oh, double left hook from Daniels. Really, the defense very porous for Mohammed. Referee watching closely again. Daniels just firing away. Big looping shot. And there it is. Philip Holiday just stepping in. Fourth round. TKO victory, referee stops the fight. Lani Daniels, a successful title defense. Mohammed, she's disappointed and shaking her head, but uh, she offered very little of resistance. And Lani Daniels, well, she will take away her first title defense. And let's hope it's the first of two historic title defenses by our women tonight, defending their world crowns.
Just waiting for Monty to make his way to the ring and for the official announcements. It was pretty dominant for Lani Daniels throughout. Very disappointed, Rasel Muhammad. But uh, shouldn't really offer a lot in terms of offense. Lani Daniels is dominant throughout. Congratulations. And in the end, it was just the volume of punches overwhelming Muhammad. Phil Holiday, the referee, had no choice but to stop the bout. And they're remonstrating with Muhammad. Commiserating, rather. <laughs> Dani Daniels, her face is clear. She didn't get marked up at all. And uh, pretty much a walk in the park for Daniels. Thank you. Fight us to the center ring, please. from Lani Daniels. Razel Mohammed marked up, she took a lot of punches. And uh, Lani Daniels, she has defended her title in front of her own New Zealand crowd. Lani Daniels, champ. What's going through your mind right now when you just get a tongue talk all like that from some amazing whanau? Ah, te mea tika me mihi au ki o tātou matua nei te rangi. Nāna te timatanga me te whakootinga o ngā mea katoa, nō reira tēnā koe. Ki te whare tūru nei, ki te papa i takutō mai rā i waho, tēnā kōrua. Ki a koutou kua whetu rangi tia haere, engari i tēnei pō. Ah, me mahara mātou, Ki te rangatira Chris Martin, nō reira e te rangatira haere, haere, haere atu rā. Uh, me mihi au ki tōku hoa meke meke Razao uh, me tō rohe o South Africa. He mihi nui kia, kue, kia koutou um, ki ngā kaiwhaka haere o tēnei kaupapa. Dean, uh, me, te, me tō tīma DNL events, tēnā koutou. Kia tātou, te unga ore, hui hui mai nei i tēnei rā, ki te tautoko, ki te whakamana, tēnei kaupapa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou katoa. Um, so, I uh, just thought it's right to start off with our, our reo. I'm practicing, um, and what better stage to do it on than the world, world one. Um, but I just had to acknowledge our Father in heaven, uh, for making sure we're all here safely and getting us home as well um, to the event centre, to our beautiful country, uh, Aotearoa. Thank you to those who have, who have gone on before us. Um, especially tonight, I think it's important for us to acknowledge the great Chris Martin, who's supported the boxing world here, especially in New Zealand. Um, so my love and support go out to him and his whānau at this time. Um, and to everybody, just th oh, to Dean and the promotion, thank you for having me. Um, that's great, what an opportunity. I'm so blessed and grateful for that. Um, and of course, everybody that come out to support the Kopapa tonight, it wouldn't have been possible without you. 
and of course my opponent, and I hope they travel home safely. Um, it's all business in here. Smack talks all for um, views, N nothing more. I love and respect and, and really appreciate her coming in tonight. Um, and of course, my whanau, you know, times are tough. They, they made it down here to put it on and, you know, get me out onto the stage. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here, especially my cornerman. It's been a trio the last six months. I've been living out of the, the gym at Rebel Liga, off the couch. Yes, and I won, so I get some jewels now. And I'm so looking forward. It's been a tough life out of a suitcase. Um, but yeah, I'm just so grateful, thankful, and much love to my whanau, and I can't wait to do it again, and again, and again. Well, I tell you what, champ, uh, you're, you're going to make my job redundant too, because I, I've got no more questions to ask you, but just on that too, in terms of, you're talking about opportunity, but the platform that you're giving and being an absolute role model in a number of ways, wahine toa, uh, te reo, uh, on that journey as well, I mean, the opportunity you're giving for others, uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, I just feel like Lani from Pipiwai trying to be better and I'm grateful to be able to be that for other people and to show bro if I can do it, anybody can because everyone needs to come to Pipiwai, check it out. You're Lani from Pipiwai, uh, you know, one in your last fight you were the hunter going after the world title fight, you are now still the world champion. What was it like to be the hunted on home soil even? Oh, honestly, I was freaking out before I walked in. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't realise, like, John's prepared me, you know, it's one thing winning a world title, but it's definitely another thing, um, defending it, and I was, didn't know if I was going to walk out. It was lucky my whanau turned up to have my back, or otherwise I would have just stayed in the changing room. <laughs> I heard the, the eight weeks of preparation was just something else. So you went to some dark places, much like the I Am Hope and the internal monologue. It was something, and we saw the fruits of your labour. Uh, how tough was it, and how happy are you now uh, to be the champ? <laughs> Honestly, that was by far the toughest, toughest um, camp to date. But... All honesty, it's nothing to the fight that we all have in our own lives, which is life, and it's not in the ring. This is, like, much easier. There's way more tougher stuff, and um, I've witnessed it firsthand with my line of mahi in mental health, working with our youth, working with our whanau firsthand, and I see it, and it's, it's hard, and I just think, um, you know, we never know what's around the corner, but if we just keep on keeping on, um, it does get better as I'm, I'm walking proof. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> How much appreciation do you have for this man, Rebel John Conway? Ah, oh, I don't even have words. That's how much he means to me. Um, he knows that, and I don't want to go into depth anymore. I don't want to cry on TV. <laughs> You've done enough, champ.